While two top players were busy posing in the buff, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update, brought to you by the new Gamma Glide Cross String. More spin, power and comfort, it's the lubricity. It's that time again. This year's ESPN The Magazine Body Issue will feature Venus Williams and Thomas Burditch, two players who apparently wanted to get as much attention for their lack of clothing as they do for their unique fashion choices on the court. There are plenty of events leading up to the start of Wimbledon, so let's review. The pre-Wimbledon WTA party gave players a chance to show their feminine side, glamming up with hair and makeup and some super stylish dresses. Also on the red carpet, Maria Sharapova explained what she would not be doing at the soiree. Something that I love is I saw your team and you put out a really cute social media video of dancing to oh, Pharrell's dance. Happy. Oh, okay. Are we going to see you guys do that tonight maybe? I don't think so. <laughs> it was a really cute video. It was really fun. We, had to, we did that in Australia actually. Yeah, we did and uh, we edited it in a few different ways but it was really it was fun how it came together. Ernest Gulbis made an appearance at popular grass court exhibition event, The Boodles. After his win over Milos Raonic, the host jokingly told the crowd that Gulbis had gotten engaged to a female admirer before the match. Here's his priceless reaction and a look at some of his more dedicated fans. The headline I got was, uh, was that I lost half a million euros in the casino. My mother sent me a text. Next day, <laughs> am, I, <laughs> am I not? <laughs> Okay, no more so, so no more headlines. I, I, I like you a lot, but, but not yet. <laughs> I need to think about it. Fabulous. <laughs> oh, oh, your fiance is here. <laughs> Ladies, you might have to let him go. Ladies, seriously. Also at the Boodles, a Lions woman took a direct hit to the noggin, courtesy of a jack sock first serve. Thankfully, she seemed to be fine after the unintentional header, so YouTube user Marvelous Comps made sure we could watch it over and over again, in slow motion. Grigor Dimitrov's coach, Roger Rashid, raced Andy Murray's strength coach, Jez Green, in a 200-meter sprint this week, benefiting the Roger Rashid Sports Foundation. The informal event drew a huge crowd, and fans were almost as excited as Murray and Dimitrov. It's tight. It's tight. It tight. It's tight. It's pretty tight. Oh! It's pretty tight. Go run! It's pretty tight. Go on, Jez! Go run! Go on, Jez! Go! Go on, Jez! Go on, Come on, Jess! Go on, Rod! Thanks to Beanie Men Sports, we have some fun video from the charity event Rally for Bally, remembering the life of Elena Baltacha and raising money for various causes. Check out Laura Robson's burning question for Victoria Azarenka. So, Vika. I've noticed today that you aren't grunting. What's up with that? We all know that you do it. I've heard some invitations already. Talk to us. <laughs> um, well, so far on the court, I wasn't the only one. I heard a little bit of Andy, a little bit of Ross. So, you know, that's what I do. And you all know me for that. But why aren't you doing it today? I was looking forward to it. I wasn't doing it today. Yes, I was. You have, uh, I think, headphones. Okay. Head Tennis recently released a short Q&A with Sloane Stevens, but the questions came from some familiar faces. Our personal favorite, a smiling tutorial for Andy Murray. I don't smile very much, but you have a beautiful smile. Would you be able to teach me how you do that? Oh my God, I love Andy. Um, of course I can teach you how to smile. Um, you just kind of got to open your mouth and then just be like, and that's how you smile. Speaking of Murray, he cruised through his first round Wimbledon match in straight sets, but he had a special visitor in the royal box, none other than a sharply dressed Shaquille O'Neal. Rafael Nadal squeezed in some downtime before Wimbledon, relaxing on the water in Majorca with friends and family.
And with the All England Club on our minds, we loved this video shot at Indian Wells where players divulge how they eat their strawberries. While most players gave the expected with cream response, there was one outlier. Strawberries with cream. There you go. With my fingers. Uh, with cream. That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.